Hey friends, Miggy from Figma here with another Figma tip. Let's talk today about after delay and trigger after delay prototype interactions. After delay is a prototyping event that will allow you to sequence a series of frames in a prototype without needing a user input like a tap or a click. It's an instruction for a frame to wait for a specified amount of time before performing an action like navigating to another frame or opening an overlay. After delay works specifically on frames and on component variants within a component set. It can be used to create animation and multi-step interactions. Let's take a look at this example. Here I have a series of frames. Each frame has an after delay interaction moving from one to next. When I hit play, you'll see that the interaction will cause the transition between all of the frames. Here I'm using Smart Animate to get a much better sense of the transitions at play. Let's take a look at how that works. If I were to use a click transition as the main way to navigate this prototype, it would require the user to input and click to perform each interaction. If instead I want to, to trigger the series of animations, I can go ahead and remove those interactions from the button itself and from the frame drag an interaction. So here you can see instead of on click I want to set after delay. If you were to try to set the interaction on this object that is not a frame you'll notice that after delay won't be available. So here I'm going to move from step 2 to step 3 and the after delay interaction I'm going to choose a set amount of time to wait. At this point, I actually don't want to wait very long, so I'm just going to put one millisecond. It's going to navigate to the third step and transition using Smart Animate. Let's have step three go to step four in the same way. Instead of an on click, I'm going to choose after delay, and that will then navigate to step four. So when I look at this prototype, I click on this button and then the frame will automatically progress to the next frame using the after delay interaction. Let's take a look at that. So here I click, goes out of the way and immediately goes to the last frame and then I reset. Next, let's take a look at a slightly different example. This is an interactive component. So these are two components within a component set. This is a variant of the first option. So let's go ahead and take a look at those noodles. Here I am using mouse events. So mouse enter to change to the other variant. So it's going over to that second version. So likewise, when I go back, I can say mouse leave, it'll change back. Let's take a look at that interaction. So when I hover, it goes to the red. And when I move that off, it goes back. Here I also have that same component with a different image. I hover, I see the GIF animation playing, I move off. Let's say I want to change that up a little bit and I want to wait, allowing the GIF to play for a little bit longer before it goes back to its original state. What I will do now is I will click on that interaction mouse leave and I will instead trigger after delay. So if I hover over here, you'll see the tooltip trigger after delay. So after delay 200 milliseconds. So basically on mouse leave, it's going to wait about 200 milliseconds before it enacts that change too. Let's add some time here. So let's do about 800 milliseconds before it performs the interaction. I'm going to click off. So here, once again, mouse enter, it's going to change to that second one and perform a smart animate. And here we're going to use a mouse leave. So any of these mouse interactions, you can attribute an after delay trigger to. So let's go ahead, see what that looks like, but let's just do one more kind of changeover. I'm going to duplicate this object. I'm going to command click. And uh, here I have some static images and some animated GIFs. Let's make another variant. I'm going to go ahead, Command Option C or Control Alt C. That copies the properties. And I'm going to paste it there. I'm now going to select this object, change that hover state. I'm going to grab this fill. Let's go ahead, Command C or Control C and paste it there. And let's reset that card. Uh, let's change its property back to the first one. So we have a, another object here to make use of our interactive component. 
And let's go ahead and play that. So here, when I hover over, it goes, and then I leave, it waits about 800 milliseconds. So just under a full second. So here I hover, it plays the animated GIF, it's looping. So I move off, it waits a little bit, and then goes back to its original state. Same thing here, it plays for a little bit, I move off, and then we'll go back to its original state. So if we choose, we can make that delay a little bit longer in the interactive component. I'm gonna go to prototype, click, let's make that delay just a bit longer. So let's say 1200 milliseconds, hit play, and see I'm hovering and they move off and you'll see it go back, hovering, and go off, and then it'll go back, hovering, and move off, and it'll go back. Thank you and happy designing.